Hi there. Welcome to Work With Me Wednesday. It is March 23rd. I am Lana. I'm the owner, maker, chief bottle washer at the Hartmont Campbell Company. If you've been following me, well, it helps if you put your thumb where your thumb's supposed to be. If you follow me online uh, through Facebook, which is what we're on right now, or Instagram, uh, check out my story today. Um, starting to do some cool new techniques with soaps and um, working on wood grains right now, which is pretty cool. So I posted one that turned out really well. Um, I'm still tweaking my recipe. I do have my goat's milk recipe, which is like fabulous. Um, and it's my go-to, which I will pivot back to if I can't get this new recipe to work. But my goat's milk recipe has sweet almond oil in it. And for some people, who have nut allergies, they're like, I can't use that one. So I'm working on another recipe that focuses more um, olive oil. And what else is in it? <laughs> it's a new recipe, um, but like it, olive oil, with, uh, there's no almond. I wanna say maybe um, an apricot oil. I don't know, I'm having a brain fart. It happens a lot. Anyway, working on that, uh, once I get that tweaked out, then I'm also working on uh, making my own soap dough and making those into uh, inlays to go into the soaps too. So I got some really cool stuff coming with that. Like I said, if you check out my stories, the wood grain is just like the tip of the iceberg. So there's some cool stuff. Anyway, today we are making, um, what am I making? It's bubble bar and because whoo, these are so so cute aren't they adorable um i've sold out of my first couple of batches but because they are so cute um i'm i made another batch and i'm going to continue that the free sheep uh bubble bar on with my promo spend over a hundred dollars um just because they are over the moon adorable so kind of fell in love with those Working on those, um, if you wear, if you look way back over, wait, over here, wait, <laughs> I'm pointing with my finger, but it doesn't really translate to the screen. There we go. You can see there's a little yellow chick hatching out of an egg. So I'm still finishing up my Easter stuff. I should finish most of it this week. And then I get to move on to my beachy Mother's Day, May long weekend, summery stuff. So not necessarily in that order, but Okay, so, but today, remember last week how I fought with this mold? It was not my friend. Did not like this mold. Um, I am not a quitter, though. <laughs> and so while I'm doing this bubble bar, I've got a couple of molds that I know for sure will work, will work with it. But it occurred to me that maybe... Maybe for this rabbit, maybe what it needs is a bubble bar more oriented, um, like, uh, I want to say heavier, it's not heavier, it's stickier. It's a stickier kind of a, a mixture. And um, I'm like, I want to try that in this mold and see what happens. It may not work. That's what happens sometimes. You make stuff and you're like, it may not work. Just like that, uh, the wood recipe, I was so excited because I got a couple pieces that worked really, really well. The other ones, not so much. And that's more me struggling with the recipe and making the recipe work perfectly than it is um, the design. So sometimes it's a journey and you kind of have to like work your way through. Hi, Heidi. Nice to see you. Okay, so we are getting this to the right consistency. I've kind of figured out my bubble bar making pretty decently. So that I, I'm confident enough to know that if the bubble bar doesn't work with this really super cute, like this looks like, oh gosh, I just saw a commercial on TV. Um, uh, there's a chocolate company. Can I remember the name of it? Help me out. Is it Ferraro? I don't know. But somebody's doing like a golden rabbit. 
and it really reminded me of this design which is what got me thinking about it and so the moral of the story is i need to stop watching tv but because <laughs> it, it makes more work for me but i was like oh, okay let's try this and see because it's still a few weeks yet until easter it's a really late easter this year so i still have i'm just checking the texture of this it feels just a smidge dry okay so hang on oh my laundry's done you probably can't hear that so we'll put a little bit more rubbing alcohol in i scented this peach margarita which is really really nice and Okay, let's give it a try. Oh, you know what else I need? Do I need it? No. I was like, I could use cornstarch to keep it from sticking. How do we feel about that? Hmm. Do we need to use cornstarch? I have it right here. I'm just not sure I want to use it. Well, let's try just a little. Just like baking, when you're worried about things sticking, sorry, I'm over here getting my cornstarch. When you're worried about things sticking and not behaving well, like in a mold, like say, ooh, um, like a cookie mold or something like that, you just dust, or you dust, um, like when you're rolling out stuff, you dust it with flour or cornstarch and it keeps it from sticking. Kind of the same idea except with the bubble bar. Okay, you ready for this? It could work, it could not. Oh gosh. It's so much, it's like, I always make the analogy, it's like baking in that, I feel like that's wet enough. I'm putting a little bit more. Um, it's like, it's about the feel, right? Like. It's like having somebody teach you how to make bread and they're like, this is the feel you're going for. And you're like, what? Could we be more specific? Yes, I'm trying to mangle my fingers. Did you see me stick my finger in? The... It's like, well, I stop doing that. Um, so, uh, update on my thumb. Healing really, really well. I did kind of lose the edge of the nail. So that kind of saved me probably from losing my finger when I was... Um, uh, beveling soap but I have bought Kevlar gloves so anytime I'm working with something that can potentially mangle my fingers I stop myself I remember the trauma of like the blood everywhere and I'm like get those gloves on and I go and get the gloves on and I'm just being a little bit more of a grown-up as far as taking care of like my my fingers my phalanges I was so upset with myself for making such a dumb mistake. So, does that stop me from making future mistakes? Not necessarily. Okay. So, I don't know if you can see how crumbly this is. But we're going to try it. We're going to try it. Are we going to try it? Gosh. It feels dry, but, I don't know. It feels also, it's like a little bit, like you can see how I can form it. But, I don't know, we're going to try it. We're going to be brave and just go for it. It might not work first time out, and that's okay. You just got to be brave and give it a try. I also have no idea how much to put in. So I'm going to put it in, to, I don't know if you can see, to like the top of the mold. This is different than bath bomb. This is a bubble bar, right? So this is a, a thicker consistency. And, uh-oh, okay, we're going to go like this. It's a little different. Kind of the technique is the same, but it's definitely a different kind of, <laughs> I think I can get it out. Yeah. All right, Lana, where is the thing that you're always looking for? And then, and then after the live, I'm like, oh, there it is, the plunger. There's a plunger that I have for, there we go. It came out. Don't worry. And then other fun things that are happening here, like, isn't it icy? 
as everything melts slowly. There's Penny. She's in her kennel barking. Um, speaking of Penny, I stepped on Penny this morning. She's so upset. She's fine. I took a step on the ice and slid and pinched her little foot because we were going for a walk. And she is just so upset with me today. Okay, you know what? This kind of sort of worked. Now, remember how I said this is bubble bar? And the thing about bubble bar is if you get the little cracks, you just let it dry for like an hour or two. I can even maybe try to do it now when it comes out. And um, it smooths over. Like you just a little rubbing alcohol and rub it with your finger and it fixes it. Okay, let's try this side. Ha! That worked. Anyways, poor little Penny got her foot squished. And she was not happy about that. She's been sulking and hanging around me all morning. I guess it hurts. I don't know. Poor thing. So, try to take her for a walk and it ends poorly. Oh, you rat. So it's doing the same thing, but at least not as bad that it did when I was using the bath bomb. So you can see how along the edge it sticks and it's not forming. So we want it to look more like this. That I can work with. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, and this is so counterintuitive, what it needs is it needs to be wetter. So I'll just crumble it up, put it back in the mold, or in the, not in the mold, what's this called? Bowl, there we go, words. Um, and we'll add a little bit more rubbing alcohol to it. Because the rubbing alcohol makes the mixture wet, but then it dries and dissipates and goes away and leaves you with this wonderful bath product. So anyway, so that's the news here. Um, let me see, I need a haircut really, really badly. <laughs> I always need a haircut though. Um, it's icy, it's wet, it needs to stop snowing and raining, uh, but it's a nice slow melt, so the basement's staying nice and dry, everything's good. So we can't complain too, too much. You know what? When in doubt, I'm going to make it a little bit wetter. Yesterday I was working with this and I made it too wet. So then what I did, you couldn't, like on a live, would be horrible. Um, because I basically I just left it for a half hour. And like I said, the alcohol evaporates off and it just gets a little bit drier. And then I could make it into um, my little sheets. Okay, this is looking better. The danger is if you get it too wet, there's that sweet spot, right? Like if it's not wet enough, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the um, cornstarch. If it's, if it's not wet enough, it doesn't mold properly. If it's too wet, it can stick to the mold, right? I just have it on the table. <laughs> I was like, can you see that? <laughs> You're like, yes, yes, we can. All right. So, oh, this feels better. Feels better already. Okay. So, then what I'm doing here is I'm smoothing it so I get a nice smooth surface. And then we push it in. Like the salt and pepper song. Do, 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 do. Push it. All right. I saw that on TV yesterday. That's why it's in my head. It's one of those wormy kind of songs. All right, we're gonna. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like that's too much. So we're just gonna go to the top. And then. Can you see what I'm doing? Yes? No? Yes? Yes. Okay. And yikes. Yikes. You're doing bunny okay and then we press it in and hopefully this works it 
might be one of those things that I just kind of have to... Now here's where life gets hard because there's this little, little edge. And when you have a full fingernail, you're like, oh, that's not a problem. When you're working with like three quarters of a fingernail, you're just like, ow. All right. This looks really good. Like it looks like it's gonna stick or like hold together. And remember what I said with bubble bar, if you get like a weird kind of funky spot where it gets all cracky, cause that's what bubble bar does. Um, not a big deal. I can fix that after. Okay. So excuse the mess. I feel like on these videos, you stare at my head, the top of my head a lot. Let me know if there's anything scary up there. Okay. Hang on. Okay, so this is definitely stickier. <laughs> okay, so that side worked really, really well. Bunny, isn't it cute? Fingers crossed. Let's try to get this on the other side. It did, it did pull away a little bit. Like, I don't know if you can see the crack right here, but that's okay because it's Wonder Bar and it's very... Um, like you can mold it, you can press it back down and it's good to go. Okay, let's try the other side. So that just tells me it's sticking a little bit. I'm okay with that. What I'm looking for is to get like a full leg. Oh, it's sticking guys. Yeah. Okay, come on bunny. So I'm lifting and tapping. It did come out. I think it worked. Now the question is, do I want it this thick? Like that's a big, how much does that weigh? Hang on, I got my scale right here. Let's see how much that weighs. The ounces. Yeah, that's like 12 ounces, that's huge. Okay, we don't necessarily need a 12 ounce chocolate bunny, but isn't it cute? Thanks, Juanita. So where it's too thick, do you see the Saturn ring here? I need to uh, just put in less, right? So if you're up for it, let's try that. Don't look, I'm killing the bunny. Just don't look, it's okay. Okay, so we're gonna put in less. All right, all right. So we'll mix it up a little bit more. We'll put in, I think that cornstarch is like saving me. So we'll put the cornstarch in, which is now a con combination of cornstarch and um, bubble bar. Should I wet this? No, maybe not yet. Okay, let's try it one more time. So I think what I'll do with these, so super cute, is that's not going to be this week's promo because remember the sheep? Everybody loves the sheep. Oh, you know what I should do? Okay, um, so this week is the sheep. I think if I can get this to work, I'll make next week the um, bunny rabbit. Okay, um, we're gonna weigh this out. That's smart, right? And we're gonna make it, okay, how much does the sheep weigh? The sheep weighs five and a half ounces. The bunny is infinitely bigger. You know what we could do? We could do just half a bunny. That's also an option. Okay, let's try. Okay, this is a lot. Let's try. Okay, it's almost seven ounces. All right, so we're gonna do seven ounces. We're gonna, whoop, we're doing this wrong because you know, that's how we roll. Okay, so I'm gonna press that in and we'll see how it turns out. This is starting to feel a little bit dry. I feel like I should have put in more um, rubbing alcohol, but let's try this and see what it does. Like I feel like, you know that bottom leg that's always an issue? I feel like it's gonna be hollow because I don't have enough um, mix in it, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Could be wrong. Okay. So then we scrape. So see, so you can see 
how thin the Saturn ring is now. Can you see it on here? Compared to how thick it was on the last one, right? And that basically just scrapes off. Okay, so far, so good. All right, all right, buddy. Let's try this and see what happens. Yep. So what happened is there's not enough mix to fill it in on the one side. So let's try this. Hang on, I'm gonna get a knife. Wait, wait. Let's try. Okay, we're gonna try scraping it off. So we have a half bunny now at this point, right? And we're gonna put him him onto here. Hopefully it'll come out. Here we go. Okay. All right. Ta-da. Cute, right? So I feel like even though it's a little smaller, um, the big one was just, it was so much. It was so big that I feel like this is a better option. Plus, I've got some really cute ideas for painting these. So let's do a few more and get those done. And um, yeah, that'll be, maybe what I'll do next week is we'll do some painting. I'll show you the painting of them and that'll be my promo next week. I also feel like this is not wet enough. So I'm gonna add in, remember how I said the rubbing alcohol? Um, it dissipates as it's just sitting. So we'll add in a little bit more. Woo! And do we need this? I feel like no. Okay, let's try this. And we'll get some bunnies going. It just it reminds me of the like the chocolate bunnies that you get at Easter time. And I just like it's a really cute mold. It's just incredibly difficult to work with. Okay, let's try this here. And sometimes with molds, it's just about figuring out how to make it work. Like it's that simple. So I'm pressing it in. This one had the cornstarch in it already from the last uh, pressing. And spoiler alert, there is cornstarch in the recipe to begin with. So if I take this and I swipe it off the table and put it into the bowl, it's not the end of the world. All right, let's try this one. See if it works. Okay. Come on, bunny. Here he goes. And he's got a crack along his leg and up around his eye, but that's okay. I can fix that later. Isn't it cute? So we'll get those going and uh, we'll paint them next week. If I can wait that long, I think I can. And let's see, what else is new? Um, I told you about the sheeps. I told you about the, the soaps. Um, yeah, thanks you guys. Thanks so much for the support. I appreciate it. And um, I'm just busy creating, getting ready for summer. Isn't it great that it's not minus 30? <laughs> it's like, yes, summer's coming. They're getting off the lake. The ice, the ice fishing huts have to be gone. I think the rule is by the end of March. Um, and normally there's like a huge village out there. I think there's four left I counted this morning. So spring is coming. All right, so we'll see you next week to paint these. I'm so glad this worked out. The lesson is sometimes a mold is difficult. It's not the mold's fault, it's more or less me. And I have a variety of different um, mediums like bath bombs or bubble bars or soaps that allows me to use something that I think is really, really cute. I can switch it onto 
um, into another medium. If it's not working one way, there's there might be a better medium for that actual mold. So you just kind of have to keep thinking about it and it's surprising how the answers come. So thanks so much for your support. Thanks for coming out and watching. Um, if you're catching me on reruns, I appreciate that too because that all counts. And um, we will see you next Wednesday. Have a great week, you guys. Thanks, sending all my love. Bye.